the next match will now begin. Scorpion, Spectre of the Nether Realm, resurrected by the sorcerer Quan Chi. Who among you is worthy of this challenge? Where is the Lin Kuei, Sub Zero? He killed my family and clan. I will have his head. I know it is you, Kung Lao. The Shaolin monks chose Liu Kang to represent your order in this tournament. I am Liu Kang's equal. That remains to be seen. Watch and see. I accept the challenge. Kung Lao. Never mind the Lin Kuei. Now you face a Shaolin. You will regret your impulsiveness. Wins. You are not yet a warrior. Kung Lao! Listen, when your elders speak, you could not win this fight. I have defeated the challenger, Shang Tsung. I demand Sub Zero! Demand nothing. Night Wolf! Your aggression is misplaced. What do you know of my. You're not the only one whose people have been victimized. But I have found new purpose in serving the spirits. I do not cling to the past. You no longer seek retribution, you dishonor your kind. I will honor the memory of my fallen. Scorpion wins. The spirits have forsaken you, Shaman. An impressive start. You waste my time, sorcerer. Restraint, Scorpion. You will fight Sub-Zero soon enough. Scorpion, I understand your desire for revenge, but Nightwolf is right. There are other ways in which you may find peace. Sub-Zero deserves death. Defeat Sub-Zero if you must, but do not kill him. I fear his death will give rise to a more treacherous foe. I will have my revenge. Spare Sub-Zero's life, and I will request that the Elder Gods return the Shirai Ryu to the realm of mortals. Understand there are benefits to the Grand Master's plan, but his plan goes against Lin Kuei principles. We are Lin Kuei, Cyrax. We will obey the Grand Master's commands. It means giving up our free will, our souls. It will turn us into Scorpion. Your inferior clan is dead. Soon you will join them. My clan may walk the earth once more. A challenge: Scorpion versus Cyrax and Sector. Your obsession with Sub-Zero ends here. Scorpion wins. I will have my revenge, but I will not kill Sub-Zero. Will not. Or cannot. You. The Shirai Ryu are dead. You will suffer as they did. To hell with your clan. No, to hell with you! The Nether Realm. This is where I was reborn. This is where you will pay. Scorpion wins. I have avenged my family and clan. This is your retribution? Scorpion, kill him. I... 
I will not. He has been beaten. Have you forgotten? What is this? Plan, your family. Despite my efforts, my vision has come to pass. An unfortunate end, he once defended Earthrealm from the Netherrealm armies of Shinnok and Quan Chi. Scorpion will pay for this. Sub-Zero's fate is his own doing. His own doing? The Lin Kuei have a history of making ruinous choices. Such as the Cyber Initiative. I am among those speaking out against the Grand Master's plan. Surgically transform the Lin Kuei into glorified robots? It kills our intuition, our instincts. Did you speak out against the Lin Kuei's participation in this tournament? We were invited by Shang Tsung. He pays you to kill Earthrealm warriors. Betraying your own realm? I expect better, even from an assassin. My loyalty is to the Grand Master. Victory for Shang Tsung means the end of Earthrealm and the Lin Kuei. We should stay together, Tundra. Assuming your brother's identity will certainly draw attention. Not all of it welcome. You are right, Smoke. But assuming Bihan's identity is the best way to honor him. Let us proceed then. Sub-Zero. We should separate. Our fellow Lin Kuei will not be far behind once our absence is discovered. If only they had been more forthcoming with the details of your brother's demise. We will find Shang Tsung. He will tell us all he knows. If he killed Bihan, he will die. Be stealthful as the night. And deadly as the dawn. The Emperor was wise to send me here. The Lin Kuei do walk uninvited in his realm. Wise though your Emperor might be, he was foolish to send his housemaid to interfere with Lin Kuei business. I am Kitana, Princess of Outworld! And I deal harshly with sharp-tongued intruders. Smoke wins. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Sleep well, Princess. Army 
toting these. No one in Outworld or Earth Realm could stand up to you. Well done. You may tell your fellow Black Dragon that I am very interested in your merchandise. Shang Tsung. I'll take care of him. No charge. One dead Lin Kuei in a tick. Smoke wins. Stay down. I would have words with your associate. Tell me what you know of Sub-Zero's death. What? Despite his failure at my tournament, I'll wager he was more powerful than you, Lin Kuei. Assuming his form will not give you his skill, Shapeshifter. Let us see if Smoke can freeze. Smoke wins. Now answer me. What do you know of Sub-Zero? <coughs> what? Smoke. You have disobeyed the directive to remain at the Lin Kuei Temple. Sector? You will return with us to begin your transformation. You actually did it. You're a cyborg. We are the Lin Kuei, more stealthful than the night, more deadly than the dawn. Smoke wins. I will never submit. There is great energy nearby. Um, Ray Dude? They must not take him. Thank you, Lord Raiden. I am called Smoke. Why are you here in Outworld? To participate in a tournament to save Earthrealm. Join us, Smoke. Forgive me, but if Sector was searching for me, he is hunting Sub-Zero as well. Sub-Zero? Call me crazy with a K, but didn't we see him die? The Grand Master intends to turn every Lin Kuei into a cyborg. My friend is in danger. The tournament. I have a feeling your friend will be there. Then let us go. Sub-Zero's soul depends on it. A pity you could not have cooperated. You are ordered to return to the Lin Kuei Temple for assimilation. Cyrex! I am Lin Kuei Unit LK4D4. You will come with me. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but I will not comply. Sub-Zero wins. I will face the Lin Kuei when my task is done, not before. The readings were getting stronger and now they're gone. I... Sub-Zero? But you're dead. I am not the Sub-Zero you speak of. He was my brother. Your brother? I am only here to learn Sub-Zero's fate. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Colosseum. That's where... You have disturbed our regeneration process. Jax. We will break you as 
if I break you first. Sub Zero wins. I remain whole for now. Sonia Blade to command. Sonia Blade to command. Do you read? You have stopped the bleeding. Yeah, but he needs a medic as soon as possible. I must go to the Colosseum. But I need your help to There's get There's a portal to... to the south. You can use it to transport yourselves back to Earthrealm. Mother... F that portal better be close. <clears throat> Father, you must kill me. Kill him. Katana, you will join me. Shao Kahn. I challenge Scorpion, the murderer of my brother. You will bring him before me. No one makes demands of the Emperor. Reptile! Sub-Zero wins. I would kill you. But that is not my purpose here. Your followers hold you in high esteem, Warlord. They fight and die for your amusement. My brother participated in this folly. I do so only to face his killer. And you shall. What is this? You are not Sub-Zero. I am his family and clan. I fight for his honor. He had no honor! You will die as he did! Sub-Zero wins. For my brother! No, you... Now interrupts the Emperor's tournament. Sub Zero? No! You cannot save him. Stay here, or they will take you as well. We request that we may return him to our temple for judgment. And what do I gain from granting this bold request? The Lin Kuei's loyalty and service. Very well. He is yours. The flow of time has been changed. I spared smoke this fate, only to watch this new Sub-Zero fall. No! I will not be turned! Katana! How is it that Earthrealm ninjas brazenly appear before me when my daughter, Princess of Outworld, was sent to intercept them? Father, be I... Be gone! Katana's faith is a slender reed bent before the storm, if it can be uprooted altogether. Sure, let's go ruin someone else's life. Easy there, mate. You've had a rough one. Kano? <laughs> In the flesh. I was 
on fire. Burned to a crisp you were. Good thing I found you. Uh, I'm hideous. Shang Tsung's magic healed the rest of you, but your lungs... Eh. Take it off. Can't. It's permanent. What? No mask, no breathing. I'm a freak. Go on, give him a whirl. I don't use those anymore. Yeah, you're all proper police now. The Black Dragon ain't the same without you, mate. You should come back. We're in the money on this war. You sold those monsters their firepower. Guilty as charged. This is your fault! What are you on about, eh? You're here, ain't you? I should be dead. Now you're gonna be. The ball wins. Now, how do I get out of here? Not so keen on being dead now, are you? How do I get out of here? <laughs> Good luck. No one gets out of Outworld without Shao Kahn's say-so. Outworld? Shao Kahn? Shao Kahn's a big boss round here, and soon, Earth's new master. Where is he? Don't bother. You can't get near him. No, but I'm guessing you can. What is this? Raiden has killed Motaro. That's him, on the throne. You're a right genius, you are. It's no great matter. I will go to Earth's realm to finish Motaro's work. Yes. Shang Tsung. Yes, Emperor. The Empress requires something of you. See there? I'm thinking he's a bit much. I can take him. Was a freak. Quan Chi, seal the portal. Okay. Time to go. Says who? Sub-Zero, unit LK-520. <laughs> you say that like it means something. As you will soon discover. Cabal wins. <laughs> Not as cool as you thought. Why do you turn on your brother, Lin Kuei? That is not my brother. He's machine. I'm human. You do not appear human. Don't let the mask fool you. Cabal wins. Starting to feel like the old days, only faster. Sub-Zero! You have great power indeed, Cabal. Wait, you're the lightning guy. You help Stryker. Stryker, is he- He is safe. He has joined us in the fight against Shao Kahn. We would welcome your aid also. Sub-Zero. That which made him Sub-Zero no longer exists. He is my friend. What they did to him. It is... hideous. You're right. We gotta help him if we can. Nothing. Then this will work. Hell no. I've never done it. 
done this before. Not like there's a man. <laughs> Sub-Zero? Can you hear me? You should. Sub-Zero? Yes, Smoke. How do you feel? Uh, what is it? I remember... the things I have done for Shao Kahn. He cannot be allowed to merge the realms. Aoka, hey, how can Sub-Zero best help us? I do not know. My attempts to alter future events have had negative consequences. Sub-Zero should never have undergone this transformation. Enlisting him may only further divert the flow of time. We need intel, right? Let's send him back to Outworld undercover. They will be unaware of my defection. I could deceive them. Killed him in Earthrealm. He should have been saved for interrogation. He was formidable. I had no choice. Follow me. We must lead a new mission. What mission brings us here? I have scanned your neural net 520. Your neural modulators have been recalibrated. Impossible. The experience has been deleted from your system. Remove your access panel. <laughs> your programming has been corrupted. My soul was corrupted. Now it is cleansed. <laughs> Flawless victory. Artificial enhancements are no substitute for the human soul. Finally! Come on, we gotta get him to the graveyard at St. Dominic's. On your feet, all of you! For what purpose? Don't care, really. So long as I get paid. He said on your feet. Come on, up, get up. Hey, what it you... I will help you. Treachery will be punished! Sub-Zero wins. All those teeth and claws yet still overmatched. Further and feed the hot world. 
Sub-Zero wins. You are not so fearsome. Oh my yeah. god. Thanks. I thought we were done. I must go. I need to investigate the graveyard. We'd go with, but we have to return to our unit. That is for the best. Good luck, man. <laughs> he ain't gonna need luck. Raiden, what is it? What did you see? One of Shao Kahn's soulnados, on a scale I thought unimaginable. All of Earthrealm's souls imprisoned, absorbed by Shao Kahn, multiplying his power. That is what Sub-Zero has found? No matter my efforts, the future remains in peril. How could I have failed Earthrealm? Do not lose faith in the spirits, Raiden. They will guide you, protect you. Sub-Zero, we will disrupt the Solnado. I will be there momentarily. Hurry! The spell appears to be nearly complete. Who is that? The one king who warned her. He is mine. You. You are not worthy of the name Sub-Zero. Who are you to judge? I wore those colors before you. Bihan? Yes, Kwai Liang. It is I. Quan Chi restored me. Restored? You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected me. For what end? To serve the Netherrealm and Outworld? It suits my purpose. But brother, we not... share blood. We are not brothers. Then I will not regret your defeat. Sub Zero wins. You are right. We are not brothers. Ratna Sumbink Natargo. O Tashin Dura. Until the end. Night wins. Your time is over.
What is it? Mother. Come forward if you dare. I will finish what the Lin Kuei could not. Let's do this. Attack! I am no longer your mother. Mother, this is not your way. Shao Kahn has corrupted you. Shao Kahn has resurrected me. You have betrayed him, embraced a pathetic cause. Remember Edenia, mother. Remember your rule before Shao Kahn's invasion. Quiet, child. It is time for you to join your friends. <laughs> Monster! Still alive? No matter. Soon you will reunite with your ancestors. Nightwolf wins. Now, Sindel, face the spirit's judgment. Tonkasilla, <laughs> Moises Cielo. Raiden. Raiden. Where are you? Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earth Realm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earth Realm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder God's rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed, turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him.
We thought the long nightmare was over. But it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Destination, dead ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former Elder God and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. The world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Ah! What happens to everyone? Gotta get back to the chopper. <sighs> Sonia, get out of there! Ah! unpleasantly cold. Didn't know you were such a fan.
I liked it better when we fought on the same side. You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> the Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! That is mine! <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. You really are a fallen Elder God. Johnny Cage, the amulet!
Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny... Did we...? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The Chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the Chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. <laughs> How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the Secretary pointed out, us older folks are going to retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The Rebels win, those Accords will be history. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. The four defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests. All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? You! I need to You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, 
We need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant... You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. Lack focus. You are more like your mother than you think. <laughs> Your power should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Kenshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. Lack of conviction. You are not your father. Not yet. Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes, military decorum is important in your family. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our history share a dark chapter. Cannot evade me. Do not judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. <laughs> rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. Oh. Chill of despair. False bravado does not suit you. <sighs> Any ideas? Sub-Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. Yes, I suppose so. Shuo, Tang Jin! That worked? This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn. I should have seen it. You and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short. What's going on? What's your update from Colonel Flagg? He said, why are you bothering me? And I said, because my ex-wife is a pain in it. Where are you going? You can't just walk away. I'm in this too. Not my decision. Thank your buddy, Secretary Blake. This is what split us up in the first place. You disappear in your work. Never time for me and Cassie. I had responsibilities. Sorry you couldn't be the center of attention. There was a time when you cared more about your family than your job, General. Nope. No evil sorcerers in here. Would you get serious? 
Quan Chi needs to clean up his man cave. It's cleaner than yours. You're comparing me to Quan Chi? Only in terms of cleanliness. What's this? I wouldn't do that. Aw, oh, come on. Where's your sense of... Adventure. You wish for adventure? You shall have it. Fire! I have no need of your soldiers, but you and Mr. Cage will serve me well once you are dead. Not as tough as you look. Quan Chi? You've lost. A delay, Miss Blade. The inevitable still beckons. Johnny! not happen. I'm sorry, Jax. I'll get you out of here. You'll be fine. Don't know. Blood's supposed to be on the inside. Raiden! I must reverse his spell. Ata, Romileko, Esaltika, Arsentika. Ata, Romileko. It's working! Esensalta, Barpenta. You cannot save him. <laughs> Your weak thunder god, Johnny Cage is mine. No, he's mine. Save him. I've got this son of a bitch. That wasn't even close to what you deserve. Sonia Blade, the link with Quan Chi is not completely severed. Not a problem.
The others are restored to the living. By coupling Quan Chi's dark magics to my own, I was able to restore their souls. Is he gonna make it? Haven't I told you? Uh, he's a god. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and they said I couldn't do horror films. <laughs> He's gone? How did he... We gotta go after him. He can wait. Right now, we need to get you and the others back to Earthrealm. Yield. Well done. You are now Chujin. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chujin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But. The clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father... I don't have a father. Yes, you do. One who's proud of you. A Chujin in record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. Now get up. I want to knock you down again. Takeda, cease! Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon. Together. Sit. 
I'm guessing it's not your first time in cuffs. What's your safe word? Advise Secretary Blake that Quan Chi is in custody. We'll be moving him to the Supermax facility at Fort Charles within the hour. Yes, ma'am. You two stand guard. Prisoner transfer will be here in 20. Oh, now she trusts me to babysit. Cage, report. We haven't caught up to Devora. We had her tracked to the Makiba Cliffs, but then her trail went cold. Damn. Jackie thinks Devora's unique physiology may allow us to pinpoint her location. She's retooling her smart comp to track Devora's pheromones. On my command only. Wound. Do not kill. We're looking at two hours? Sergeant, your team doesn't have two hours. We need her found immediately. Sonya! Cassie, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but there isn't time. Bring your team back here. We need to regroup and redeploy. Yes, ma'am. They're doing their best. I know. General, we have a visitor. You two are friends, right? He tell you he was coming? Nothing. General. Master Hasashi. I hadn't received word you were coming. I will have Quan Chi. We have things under control. You can- He must die. Raiden needs him. Without Quan Chi, we can't restore Liu Kang and the other revenants. You'd leave them trapped? Like you were? Only Quan Chi concerns me. Don't do this, Hanzo. I'll put you down. Then we are at an impasse. Sibiru! <laughs> Quan Chi is mine. I wish you no harm, General. your men, Hanzo. If you value our friendship, you will give me Quan Chi. <laughs> Withdraw. Without Sento, you are vulnerable. Quan Chi's death will abate my anger. Hanzo, no! You've earned great trust for the Shirai Ryu. Do not squander it murdering a withered sorcerer. That withered sorcerer is the architect of my suffering. Master Hasashi, I am grateful that you've come. Speak your mind. I do not wish to linger here.
You reestablish the Shirai Ryu as I reform the Lin Kuei. We both seek to shed our clan's dark pasts, dedicate them to Earthrealm's protection. Our common purpose gives us a chance to end old rivalries, to start anew. You'll confess what you've long denied? That your clan's hands are soaked in Shirai Ryu blood? In the blood of my family? Our honor is indeed stained. Please, sit. After you and I were freed from Quan Chi's control, I sought out my clan. I had hoped rebellion from within would have quashed the Grand Master's plans. But Sector had realized his father's vision. The Lin Kuei had been fully cyberized. I pledge to kill Sector and his followers, reform the Lin Kuei, and restore our honor. I am not interested in Lin Kuei politics, Sub-Zero. When I finally killed Sector, I discovered the Lin Kuei had not sacrificed its honor with the Cyber Initiative. We had abandoned it long before. Frost! The Lin Kuei are still without honor! Master Hasashi, wait! For what? More treachery! I will have your head! Our story ends here, Sub-Zero. What is this? I did not bring you here for treachery. Frost is strong, but lacks judgment. She cannot see the wisdom of peace. I will deal with her. You spoke of the Lin Kuei's lost honor. For years, I had thought you would unfairly blame the Lin Kuei for the deaths of your family and clan. But Sector's cyber-preserved memories revealed the truth. The Lin Kuei need to abide their agreements, Sector. The Grand Master gave Shinnok his word. Shinnok's currency is lies, as is yours. Payment is due. I exterminated the Shirai Ryu as promised. Hanzo Hasashi lives. He's your specter, Scorpion. I created Scorpion from Hasashi's soul after he died. We observed the agreement. The letter, not the spirit. You are owed nothing. Harumi. Satoshi. Had I known of my clan's complicity in the Shirai Ryu's extinction, our history would be different. I killed your brother because I thought he... Quan Chi is responsible for Bihan's death. Sector was wrong. There is a debt to be paid, and Quan Chi will pay it. Unbind him. Scorpion. We can't... <laughs> My name is Hanzo Hasashi! You killed my wife. My son. And then you burrowed your way into my head. Misdirected my vengeance. Cost me my one chance to have them restored! Your family, I... Ah! Quiet, sorcerer. 
Nothing can help you now. At last, you feel my pain. Scorpion, stop! Blood for blood, your debt is paid. small they are. This one greets Lord Shinnok. Quan Chi chose his servants well. He was wise to restore me in Earthrealm, behind their defenses. Quan Chi deceived them, allowed himself to be captured. He knew they would bring him here. A pity he did not live to see his work completed. <sighs> There will be no surprises from you, Mr. Cage. Bring him. Praise be to Lord Shinnok. Let us be on our way. There is an Earthrealm force in Netherrealm. I am aware. They will be neutralized. I don't know about you guys, but I'm living the dream. You have our dreams. Shato, you die tonight. Nita!
You stood together against formidable odds. Lesser warriors would not have fared so well. Thanks, Grandmaster. I will remain here to push Kotal Khan back to Outworld. Proceed to the Sky Temple. Earthrealm's fate lies with you. Whoever came here knew how to disarm these traps. Do you know how? The monks never taught me. More likely you did not attend class. Watch for the pattern. And pick your moment. Easy enough. What's next? Everything. Poison gas, shooting spears, flame jets. How about we avoid those? I did not do that. I did. Scorpion. Of course you survived the time merger. You will not stop Kronika from restoring my family and clan. Can you stop the traps? I learned my lesson fighting you at Shang Tsung's tournament. This time, I am prepared. I can't stop the traps. The locks have been changed. You cannot turn us against him. We know about our deaths. They were caused by our mistakes. You have been deceived, Liu Kang. The truth is, Raiden murdered you. Lord Raiden may make mistakes, but he doesn't murder his followers. Is it not murder to send an ill-prepared warrior to his death? Raiden's mistake cost your life, Kung Lao. I like the real you better. The Dragon Grotto is through there. What if the next revenants we have to fight are... us? Then we fight them, Kung La. Zero. I recognized your footsteps, Hanzo. Where's Sector? I will not let him threaten my clan again. 
The old Cyber Lin Kuei factory was defunct, buried beneath this quarry. Until the time disruption. Now, Sector's returned and reactivated it. He's building an army by processing Lin Kuei warriors kidnapped from my temple. I can see why you need me. We could enter through that tunnel, but a frontal assault would be... bloody. Needlessly dangerous. There's another entrance, less populated. And the rest of your plan? We get help on the inside. We'll avenge your clan. Man. He was converted against his will. If we disable the behavior inhibitors that control him, he will turn on Sector. All Cyber Lin Kuei are linked to a common network. Cyrax can shut them down from within. Who is the woman? I don't know. Focus on disabling Cyrax. He's the key. We require additional candidates for cyberization. Once delivered, how long before the next generation is born? <laughs>
before we face more Cyber Lin Kuei. You'll need a moment to initialize. <laughs> Sector, show yourself! For now, know we share the same goal, the Cyber Lin Kuei's destruction. We need your help, Cyrax. I can disable their communications network. It will shut down this factory and every Cyber Lin Kuei connected to it. Anything is possible. Hanzo and I are living proof. Please, don't bring me back as a machine. I can't live like this. Machine or man, you have a warrior soul. As long as I am Grand Master, the Lin Kuei will welcome you. Then until we meet again. That's what I call a miracle. Yeah, Raiden. Thanks. Grandmaster Hasashi, I humbly request the Shirai Ryu's hospitality. My Sky Temple has been compromised. There is no safer place for us to gather. Lord Raiden, welcome to the Fire Garden.
Why not use Karan's fleet? The bridge clearly taxes her power. The fleet's bound to Karan. It sails only by his command. That it's still moored suggests he won't help Kornika. In which case, he may help us. Looks like caught on his home, perhaps hosting some unwelcome guests. Return to Earthrealm. Tell the others we found him. We'll deploy as soon as I return. Are you certain Karan will aid us? No, but he's our best chance. Lost causes. This one ensures the hive's survival. You will not save the Shirai Ryu. The Shirai Ryu will not fall. The clan of imposters will indeed fall. I've restored the Shirai Ryu. Built a clan that's never been stronger. On a foundation of pretenders and outsiders, Kronika told me. Shirai Ryu. Our clan's massacre extinguished them. Kronika will revive the true Shirai Ryu in the new era. Do not trust Kronika. She uses your anger to enslave you, as Quan Chi did both of us. I let go my rage, and it saved me. To save yourself, you must do the same. It's past time you were freed. We both know what truly drives you. It's not Shirai Ryu pride. It's your wife and child. Harumi and Satoshi were stolen from me. Murdered. Seeing them again is all that matters. We shared this pain. I fought through hell to end it. But Kronika's new era is not the remedy. She would resurrect Shinnok. The same devil who brought death to our family and clan. He cannot be allowed to return. When I revived the Shirai Ryu, I vowed our clan would ensure Earthrealm's protection. Help me keep that promise. Raiden is at the Fire Gardens. 
Enlist Karan's aid. Bring Raiden's army to the keep. You must. You have my word. <sighs> Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. Fire gardens. Rebuilt. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. And now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. Fight! <laughs> Misunderstand my intentions. Who sent you here, Scorpion? My future self is dead. I am here at his behest. Grandmaster Hasashi sent you. I honor his dying wish. Karan will ferry your armies to the Isle of Kronika. We must leave at once. Do you have proof of Karan's offer? Only my word. Your word is worthless. At the tournament, I trusted you to spare Bihan, and you betrayed me. A mistake born of rage. I seek redemption. Lie, Scorpion. You are a slave, and Kronika is your master. <laughs> Spout your falsehoods elsewhere, Scorpion. Kronika will not entrap us. It is no trap. Karan awaits you in the Nether Realm. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> now, Scorpion, the truth. Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. Our time has run out. I do what I must to save Earthrealm. Stay down! This is not the way. Scorpion is not the enemy this time. Liu Kang, do not interfere! <laughs> Be glad of my mercy. Do not force my hand, Liu Kang. The realms hang in the balance. To defend them, I must command order. I thought it impossible, but the revenants were right. You cannot be trusted. I do not need trust. I demand obedience. Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. This... This has happened before. Liu Kang, do not interfere. You cannot fight Shao Kahn! <laughs> Liu Kang, stop! Enough of your madness! If you must die, so be it!
I have been a fool, Liu Kang. Kronika's puppet. We only battle because she wills it. I must help him. I was wrong to doubt you. I too have been a slave to anger. I do not understand, Lord Ring. Your rage was caused by Kronika? Yes. I succumbed to her influence. But then, our confrontation, it unlocked memories. Memories not only from this timeline, but from timelines that have come before. Wait a sec, timelines? Plural? Kronika has restarted time on countless previous occasions, using each timeline to learn and to perfect her plan. The details of each timeline are different. But in each one, events conspire to bring Liu Kang and I into conflict. In each one, he dies. Only Kronika has such power to control time and fate. I don't get it. Why do that? I do not know. But be assured, Kronika will control us no longer. Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Kauron does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. The Fire Gardens? Rebuilt. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. And now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. What is he doing here? We are not together. If you are here to help, prove it. Join me against the sorcerer. I shall. Fujin? Raiden thought you lost when the timeline was broken, but you stand with Shang Tsung. We have urgent news for Raiden, please. Let us pass. This may be the sorcerer's trick. The Fire Gardens will not be defiled by his presence. Why you have joined Shang Tsung is beyond me, Fujin. What has he done to corrupt your mind? Perhaps listen before you judge. Thank you, Fujin. The storm is not yet past. Shang Tsung! We must speak with you, brother. We, Fujin? Since when are you friends with this filth? I'm here to save you, Raiden. We hail from your tragic future. In it, Liu Kang defeated Kronika, but their battle destroyed her crown. Without this, a broken timeline couldn't be repaired. Our only hope was to return here, steal the crown, and make use of its power. Now we can change the outcome of the fight against Kronika. We can defeat her and fix time. I had never thought you gullible, brother. Shang Tsung's schemes serve only to benefit him. 
How could you fall for such lies? Be rational, Raiden. Spread your falsehoods elsewhere, sorcerer. You will not deceive us. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> Now, Shang Tsung, the truth! Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. <laughs> you also betray me! This is not the way. Shang Tsung is not the enemy this time. The realms hang in the balance, and you form this unholy alliance? <laughs> Enough of this madness. If you both must die, so be it. My brother is my problem. I will signal if I need help. Shinnok's amulet inflames your anger and clouds your judgment. Have faith in me. Now listen, brother. We're running out of time. I am a fool. You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. Against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Mad Bo. Now who's in over his head? This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on. Let's help Madame Bo. How does he do that? I have no idea. You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Get over here! Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. It is you who will regret crossing me.
Incompetent. Oh, that works. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Are you sure you're a Grand Master? Interesting. Kung Lao, over here! Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo, how are you... Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kuai Liang. So, these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. 
A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Be hot, Kui Liang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts warp. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. And scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kui Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. How long are we expected to linger? Patience, Bihan. There are many demands on Liu Kang's attention. Were he here, Father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in, made you one of us. But your blood will never be Lin Kuei. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Shang Tsung is here, at the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them, and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than- We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. The only way in is over the walls. We must find a less guarded section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. Glory? We fight for duty. Does our father's ghost possess you? All I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Vision is what he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm, when we could help lead it. Our clan doesn't govern. It serves. That is our past. 
It won't be our future. Boy, I heard tales of battles against your kind. I had fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. You will end this day hungry. What is this? We are charged with defending the fortress. None will escape us. Test your might. You are Quan Shi's creation. Liu Kang warned about you. I had hoped for the chance to battle your dark magic. You're not so fearsome. You're both unharmed? We are, brother. Good. After our years of idleness, it pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. Continue working. I must oversee production of the remaining basins. That's Quan Chi. The other sorcerer Liu Kang described. Kawhi Liang and I will capture him. Stay here. Do not let them activate the Soul Stealers. Soul Stealers be completed on time, Quan Chi. Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, 
We'll halt their construction. Agreed. Sends no other way. Your failure was inevitable. This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you. You won't decline. Unless it's your surrender, I am not interested. I had hoped for a worthier enemy. to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control, to gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. Ignore him, brother. He promises only corruption. Grandmaster. I am sure you're asking yourself, can I afford to trust a man I have never met? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford not to? Once Outworld rules Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen! We must stop them, not- Silence, Kuei Liang. But brother- Obey your Grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul Stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. He built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. <laughs> Impressive. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court.
they are animated by fragments of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. turn in his grave if he saw this! He was a doddering old fool! He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you tried to save him! A lie. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. <laughs> Neither of you are up to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape! Declined Shang Tsung's offer. I assume your brother has not. The sorcerer tempted him into forsaking his oath. He can be convincing, can't he? Spurning him is a grave mistake. The mistake is yours, Outworlder. What have you done? Kuei's flame is not easily smothered. Split up! We must find him!
What happened? Where's Bihan? He's betrayed us. We're all in imminent danger. Letting father die, forsaking Earthrealm, he's abandoned all reason. I knew Bihan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes, I am with you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Do your oaths mean nothing? It's your duty to obey my will. Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition. My fight. End this, brother. Embrace the future. I want no part of it. You pervert all that it means to be Lin Kuei. You are my grandmaster no longer. What are you doing? Once he's exposed, won't you be made grandmaster? You forget Cyrax and Sector. Their loyalty to Bihan is absolute. They'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me. We must chart a new course. One that both honors our father's legacy and serves Earthrealm. Help me. We can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. Nowhere to hide. We have banded together to rid all timelines of your evil. The threat you pose to them ends today. Such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way. Because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you.
make you burn. Fight. <laughs> Now hurry. There's no time to waste. You face the greatest warrior who ever lived. Assist me, Quan Chi.
Scorpion. You are almost there. <laughs> How this ends. the scorpion follow me your defenses have failed Shang Tsung this is over I do not think so realize sorcerer that you've brought this on yourself Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. Position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight! And they called me the Chosen One. I am honored, Liu Kang. Shall we finish this? You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. May that be the last we see of you. What's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses.
Thank you for your aid, Scorpion. May we one day meet again. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream, Outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope, I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden! The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet, but I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? Whew, not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Don't worry, Sean. I've got this covered. Besides, my business manager tells me I can write this whole thing off. The realms are in safe hands. After the victory over Shao Kahn, Sub-Zero learned from Raiden the truth, that the Lin Kuei were ultimately responsible for the deaths of both Sub-Zero's and Scorpion's families. Enraged, Sub-Zero offered Scorpion a chance to share in his quest for vengeance. With the might of fire and ice combined, they were a storm of vengeful fury as they cut down their foes. Once justice had been done, Sub-Zero and Scorpion disappeared into legend, emerging from obscurity only to avenge the innocent. The forces of darkness will never stop this deadly alliance. Shao Kahn's death did nothing to relieve Scorpion's pain. The loss of his kin still weighed heavily upon him, for reasons he could neither explain nor understand. He was drawn to the home of the Shirai Ryu. Standing amid the rubble in solemn contemplation, 
Scorpion was visited by apparitions of his fallen comrades, who revealed the true mastermind behind their brutal deaths. Enraged, he returned to the Nether Realm. As the spirits of his kin immobilized Quan Chi, Scorpion slew him, finally avenging their deaths. Remorse for his role in resurrecting Shinnok weighed heavily upon Scorpion's soul. His desire for vengeance had brought Earthrealm to the brink of destruction. Scorpion offered to perform to atone for his offense, but Raiden suggested a more productive alternative. Instead of death, Raiden sentenced Scorpion to life. He imbued Scorpion with a small portion of the Jinsei's power, linking him to Earthrealm's essence. Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu clan would protect the Jinsei and Earthrealm forever. Grandmaster Sub-Zero knew his Lin Kuei clan would need more than martial arts to stave off future threats to Earthrealm. In the frozen reaches of Outworld, he found the answer. A female frost dragon with a clutch of eggs. With his ability to freeze, Sub-Zero hatched the dragonlings. They accepted their Lin Kuei masters and their training as combat mounts. With a force of dragon riders, the Lin Kuei's ferocity became legend. None dared risk conflict with Earthrealm. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in the game. Why? I do not know. But I will find out. And then, I will have vengeance. Once I gained the Hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bihan, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the Hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bihan's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now we are comrades, not rivals. Together, as joint Grand Masters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. No sooner had Titan Shang Tsung been defeated than Bihan and his loyalists hunted us down. Outnumbered, we fled to Japan. There, we sought refuge from an old family friend. As children, we played together. But Harumi Shirai was a woman now, the head of her clan. Her strength, beauty, and intellect awed me. Also incensed by Bihan's betrayal, Harumi agreed to help me forge a new clan, one that would stand against him and defend Earthrealm. Her aid proved invaluable, and as time went on, we grew closer. To honor Harumi and pay respects to my new bride, I named the clan after her, calling it the Shirai Ryu. Now the battle against my brother begins in earnest. 
the Shirai Ryu won't rest until Bihan is defeated and the Lin Kuei's honor restored. I had broken the Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. We were now masters of our destiny and could take our place among Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require a vast army. I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An army of them would be unstoppable. But trafficking in such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, not sorcery. We've invested much into this endeavor, and we are beginning to see results. Once again proving the depths of Sector's genius. When we are done, all of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. Kui Liang and I were working hard to build our new clan. But even with the help of his close friend Harumi, it was difficult. The biggest problem was finding the right initiates. Then, one night, while walking outside Harumi's compound, I was attacked. I thought at first it was a Lin Kuei assassin, but his strikes were too uncertain, too angry. My attacker, it turns out, was a boy. Homeless and hungry, his assault was born of desperation. He needed money so that he could eat. It was like looking at myself 15 years ago. I would have ended up just like him if the Lin Kuei hadn't taken me in. So I took the boy to Kui Liang, who also appreciated his fire. We made him our first initiate. The boy's name? Hanzo Hasashi.